flying along and saw the big exclamation mark sign, didn't think too much of it. Welcome back. It's Friday afternoon, uh, Labor weekend. And first trip in probably a couple of months. Instead of going on a multi-day bikepacking trip like I've been planning a couple between then and now, I'm gonna head away and relax. Go and go somewhere a little different than This is a doc campsite and it's non bookable, so it's just try your luck and pay your fees when you get here. So, time to fill in to pay those fees. As I feared being Labor Weekend, there's a lot of people here. It's just about to go 8 o'clock and it's nice to have a bit of light in the evening. However, it's looking a lot lighter on camera than it actually is. Actually quite looking forward to just diving into bed and going to sleep. Part of that amounts to finally getting to test out the new bed that I've created since the last trip. The seat is gone, but there is storage. I'm really interested to see how well this thin foam works. I tested out a couple of samples of this on the shop floor and it felt good, so I brought it. Well, well it was not the worst sleep I've ever had. A little bit of an issue with my pillow being too thin on this mattress, but it was pretty good. Woken up to bellbirds and kaka and something else I can't identify. And so we're going to go for a bit of a walk and come back and probably get off. But I'm going to head back to the offender, consider my options, and might head up to Blue Range Hut. Doesn't even begin to do justice for how steep this is. I'm quite excited about the possibility of good views from up here. I did, however, forget a cooker to be able to do a coffee with a view, but this is very impromptu. had no idea what to expect of Blue Range Hut. Didn't know it was here. It was only the fact that it was about four hours return that I decided to do it. 
never seen a blue hut before I've seen dock green ones and some ex forest service ones but I have to say this is actually my favorite hut out of all of the huts that I've visited which is a reasonable number purely on the fact that it's just got so much character the view is not bad either if I'm honest definitely worth a trip in it's very small it's not bookable it sleeps four but I guess at a pinch you could put a small tent out the back here That's really cool ticking off that campsite, that curry fucking bumper on my list for quite some time and I'm not sure why. I can see myself exploring a little bit more in that area in the future. There's an old tram line that I would like to go and have a look at and I actually wonder if the old billy or teapot that was beside the stream had washed down as one of the relics from that tram line from those logging nose. There we go, that should make for a better night's sleep. As I mentioned previously, I've got neck issues, neck injuries that leave me with chronic pain and <laughs> that new mattress, well it's really good. I woke up this morning with an incredibly sore neck, which I don't need. Now to try and find a campsite, got a couple of options. So this is camp for the night at the Lake Wairapa Domain Reserve, one of those. And just as I remembered it from a couple of years ago when I did the Wild Coast Loop, there's white cap waves on the lake, which is about as fun as it sounds when you're on the bike. Here puts me in a good position for anywhere that I plan to go. At least it's reasonably quiet, it's a big area. Morning. Well, that didn't completely suck. New pillow certainly seems to solve the problem. So not entirely sure what today's gonna bring. It's very calm. The rain is more just drizzle, but that's enough to be annoying. And I haven't quite got a plan for that yet, but I'm gonna have a look at the forecast shortly and see where to go. And the night was incredibly quiet, which is even better. A couple of photos of the view before we leave, and of course, the mandatory pick up some rubbish because that's what we're doing. Beautiful and calm, can't get over that after last night, it's fantastic. Right, 
There we go. Learned something new. Driving along before we went to indicate and one of my indicator warning lights went out on the dash, which I've not struck before. So put it back together and carry on. Flying along and saw the big exclamation mark sign, didn't think too much of it until I saw a fall of it, I didn't really want to hit at speed. Gotta love back roads. So it looks like it's supposed to remain like this all day. So I'm going to take the opportunity to drive as far as I can and then make my way back and look at things when it's not raining. So I'll update you when there's something to update. which this has been on my list for quite some time. It's raining, so the lighthouse can wait. But in the meantime, leave no trace. Fuck you and your rock head. She's going to have some lunch where it's reasonably dry. Enjoy the room with a view. Okay, so because I'm a gambling man, I'm taking the punt that the band of rain that came through while I was having lunch is passing. I'm not going to get completely soaked. It's only 400 steps or something, apparently. Not too much in the way of first rain but I'm not going to hang around and wait for it to come in either. seals down here but I didn't expect that many seals that's just mind-blowing that's very very cool update time so when I said that I had no plans just a whole heap of possibilities didn't research these possibilities all that well and I should know this by now that more and more dock 
contracts are becoming closed due to weather events and a lack of funding to get them back open again. That's exactly what's happened with the Putadangi Pinnacles, which are one of the things that I wanted to come and look at down here and where I are actually considering staying tonight. busy so bit short on options so gonna make do with what I've got and try to not get stuck in the process of turning around also don't really want to make the place any worse After the issue at Ohinipane, splashed out and brought some additional pegs and some more rope, so that should make the tarp last the night. Fingers crossed. Quite funny as I stand here now thinking about having gotten stuck in this well little gentle slope. Um, I was actually trying to stay off the grass. I don't want to tear up any more grass. That's kind of how that happened. But interestingly enough, this morning I was thinking to myself that with having open diffs four recovery boards would actually probably be a pretty good investment which I just proved to myself again as much as I'm not intending to go anywhere silly sometimes silly doesn't look silly So it's not until you don't have a fire for a couple of nights that you actually appreciate just how relaxing a fire really is. Nothing quite like a bush belly to keep you occupied and relaxed and give you a little bit of purpose. Gotta 
admit I'm a little bit disappointed about the Pinnacles. It has been on my list for quite some time. Although so had Cape Palliser. It also reminds me of last Labor Weekend on Road Trip 2.0 when we went to get a look at Natural Bridge, which was also closed. There's some really iconic tracks and landmarks that we're just not able to get to at the moment, which is a bit of a bugger. I was a little bit disappointed looking at the Pinnacles campsite, which is part of the reason I didn't stay there. I don't know if they're getting overused now, or if there's just been a lot of rain, or if I've been spoiled for campsites. But all the campsites in this area uh, on this trip have been really muddy and really boggy, and just not as well maintained as I remember. Officially the internet's worst fire cooking channel, but I really can't be bothered tonight, so nice and easy. So it normally makes a bit more of an effort and try and cook something a little more interesting. But this is actually one of my go-tos for bikepacking. And just as I get the camera out to try and record the first Ruru or Morpork of the trip, stops calling. So it's time to call it for now. I'm going to listen to the Morpork and go to sleep. morning. I'm so glad that you can't see my thought process on camera. Just reached down to take the hot plate off the fire thinking that I needed to turn the cooker off but it's... I haven't had coffee yet, still waking up. But gonna have some breakfast, go for a walk, check out the Wahini Gorge and generally what else is around this area because I've got no clue. Right, can't say I'm a big fan of the swing bridge, but I will be coming back at some point to go up to Cone Hut, which is the second oldest hut in the Tararuas, but also a Totra slab hut, which I think would be quite interesting to have a look at. So, because my confidence levels are as high as Snoop Dogg, I've put my recovery boards in the back. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to call it. That is one awesome camp spot.